Good morning, everybody. Got some good news and some bad news today. So good news is that this morning has all the ingredients to be a really special duck hunt. We got a blizzard blowing into my area of Minnesota right now. It's supposed to be starting here about an hour or so, snowing upwards of 10 inches throughout the day. And we also have 25 mile an hour north winds out there gusting up to 40. So I think once the snow starts, it's supposed to be close to whiteout conditions. I've never hunted in anything like this before. The bad news is that this is probably going to be my last duck hunt of the season in this area. We're not supposed to break above freezing for the high for the next two weeks. So stuff's going to lock up super quick. And I think the birds are just going to book it out of here. But I'm hoping that the mallards and green wings have stuck around. I'm back out at the same marsh that I hunted with Bonnie about a week ago now. And it was loaded. So as long as at least a handful of them stuck around, I think should get some action this morning. I'm going to be taking the kayak out to the open water on this marsh. Last time I paddled way back in, pretty much past where the birds wanted to be. And this morning, I'm going to try to not make that mistake and just hunt the open water. Although I do have an onyx pin um, for kind of the spot where I flushed most of the mallards out on my paddle out last time. So if I do see them trafficking back there, I might pick up really quickly and make a move. But just going to try and lay out on the open water. Like I said, strong wind. So I'm hoping that between that and freezing conditions, it's 28 right now, supposed to drop, temperature's supposed to drop throughout the morning. I'm hoping that the birds will be moving to the open water. But yeah, got an hour till shooting time. Going to drop the kayak in here. Hopefully get some birds in close this morning. birds of the morning working landed out far probably 60 yards out off that point really thought about setting up there but this just looked a little bit better You gotta be kidding me. Not sure if I'm gonna need to make an adjustment here. First couple groups have landed right off this point, and then those four landed right here in this little pocket and we're swimming up. So figured I'd take the Drake while I had the opportunity. Small green head there. But looking back at my blind, I'm sticking out big time. I'm gonna give it a couple more groups, but if they keep on landing far, I'm gonna brush that blind and Oh, a little hen there. That's the only bad thing about this setup. I'm trying to use these cattails as natural cover because I figure they're going to be working left to right. They should be. But because of that, I can't see the string of divers I got out to my left. So never like that. I don't like having decoys out and not being able to see them. I think that hen just landed in them.
I guess this is gonna be a water swap morning. Oh. Come on, please get hung up in them sticks. Oh, shoot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gonna have to break out the kayak for that one. Nice old jerry -quidgen. I think I'm gonna make a move though. I just wanted to land right here off the edge, so I'm gonna try and get closer to where they're putting down. Heck yeah. Young Wedgen Drake there, it looks like the back is still getting its colors, but beautiful wing patch on him. Heard him whistle and knew I had to take him. Ooh, buddy. Nice group of mallards there. Come on, get up. Get up. You got to be kidding me. They're just a little bit too quick for me. Ah, first real cold hunt of the year. Seems like it's always that way, just a couple seconds slower than usual. Someone else is hunting out here. Another young Jake there. I'd guess that's why he didn't get up when I popped up 10 yards from him. Whew. Decoyed perfectly though. Didn't want to shoot my mojos there. Actually, not even mine, they're Corey's. Otherwise, that would have been another water swat. Stud little green wing there. He's got all his colors just about. Hide's looking a lot better. Just two more birds to go. I'm hoping the snow will start soon. I really. 
I want to shoot a couple ducks in the snow. That blue out there is probably the snow line if I had to guess. <laughs> uh, just changing a go for a battery. Nice flock of teal comes straight in. And that's a wrap. Uh, heck yeah. Beauty of the little pair of green wing drakes there to finish out the morning. I really wanted to wait for that snow to pick up, but can't pass up stuff like that, so. I might stick it out for a little bit, just see what the geese do. I've heard some of them flying, but no more ducks. Well, about to pick it up, but just soaking it in for a few more seconds. Hard to beat getting out solo on a public marsh like this on a migration day. Just so many birds flying and uh, some great decoy action this morning. One thing I do want to point out is some of y'all might be wondering why I've been using black ducks up here in Minnesota. You don't see hardly any black ducks up here, but right here you can see it pretty well. The black ducks just have so much better contrast against the water than any other decoy. Um, on a sunny day, the mallard drakes will really pop, but on an overcast day like this, they just look pretty gray and the hens don't hardly stick out at all. So those black ducks give a really good contrast and that's why I like using them. I, only, I had six of them out today and those are the FA fully flocked black ducks. I've really been liking them. They've been holding up really well. The problem I've had with fully flocked black ducks in the past is, the, is that the flocking wears off pretty quickly, but they've been holding up to some abuse. So yeah, birds still flying, but I'm gonna call it a day before the snow picks up. It's supposed to hit pretty heavy when it does. So don't wanna get stuck out in that hope you enjoyed that hunt i actually got another giveaway today that i'm going to be doing teamed up with final approach for this one and they're going to be giving away 360 dollars worth of decoys and rigs going to be giving away a dozen of their live series mallards half dozen of the live series black ducks and then two dozen of their coated steel cable rigs the way to enter this giveaway is through a link i'll put it up on the screen right now you go there you enter your email and then you can get a bunch of different entries by doing stuff like subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so already following my pages instagram and facebook and some of the final approach social media pages as well but you got to go there and put your email in first because the winner will be notified through an email uh, i do want to touch on one other thing before i wrap this one up and that's the reason that i haven't been doing as many solo kayak duck hunts this season and it really all comes down to not having a dog. I got the opportunity to hunt with dogs a lot more this season, got the opportunity to work dogs by myself, Bonnie and Tilly, Corey's dogs. And the draw to go out solo without a dog is just kind of gone for me. Uh, I still love the style of kayak duck hunting. I think you can get an incredible hide uh, with being out in the kayak in a marsh like this. You guys probably saw it on the second half of this hunt. Uh, the hide still wasn't perfect, but it was good enough to get birds in pretty tight. So uh, I love the style of hunting, but without a dog, the hunts just feel a little bit lonely. But I got a big update coming on my dog situation. Going to have a video either coming out this Thursday or early next week. And uh, yeah, pretty big update that I'm really stoked for. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you click that subscribe button. If you have any questions about the hunt, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Hope everybody out there is staying safe. God bless and thanks for watching.